We have this essay, this is High Priestess Ashodhara Singh. Welcome birth date 9. Welcome to your prediction video for the month of January 2024. I wish you and your family a very happy new year. May this year be full of love, luck, laughter, joy, holistically speaking of course. Work hard on your goal, your target and work hard on yourself. Um, and uh, make sure that you accumulate lots of good karma to reap the benefit of it. The central theme of the month is described with the help of five cards from five different oracular decks. You have the Akashic Oracle, the Chakra Oracle, the Tea Leaf Oracle, the Dragon Oracle, and the Shiva Oracle. The four weeks in a month are described with the help of six cards from six different decks. You have the Dragon Tarot, the Wicca Tarot, the Golden Wheel, the Smith Weight, the Rider Weight, and the Celtic Tarot. Right, so let's see what the central theme is for you. You've pulled out the card of major changes, Shiva the Destroyer. Baba Shiv is here to say, that if you are even a farmer, right, has to raise the crops to the ground, they burn the fields to ensure that good crops grow and there's a good harvest. So similarly, destruction is a very important part of creation. You need to be ready for unanticipated and sudden big changes in your life. Be prepared for it and tell yourself this is the end of one cycle and that's how the bigger, better, brighter cycle will begin. The card of revelation is next and uh, this is an elf, right, uh, uh, an elf, uh, who is supposed to be a dragon rider and very very highly revered it's a very good card which says something will be revealed which has been hidden either in a situation or in a person or in your own self right so look out for that and this is something that will give, give you a huge uh, amount of clarity in a situation that you've been tackling for a while now the card of the year is here which says good news is in the horizon so open yourself up to it and express gratitude when you receive it Wisdom is the card next, which says, talk less, listen more, observe more, be wise and use your logic where it is required and emotions where it's required. Don't mix and toggle between the two. And the last card is the Queen of Forces. The Queen of Forces, don't go by the gender, you could be a male also. This is talking about a person in your life, or it could be you also or somebody else. You're coming into a phase of great power and ability to sustain with wonderful results. It's possible to get new roles and opportunities, um, careers uh, in global communication, nature, energy, science may now be available to you. Uh, if you are in the market uh, in terms of romance and love, then a possible love interest is also is uh, in the horizon. Or an associate in business or in a creative project who has powerful influence and connections for you or for another is also happening. This could be someone you know or somebody new. Uh, there is a tender yet powerful support that's coming your way during this time. You need to <laughs> choose your choose your choose to support yourself as well. I'm sorry for the background noise. There's a vegetable seller outside. He's just working hard, right? Let's appreciate that. And you, birth date nine, you hold the forces of creativity and receptivity. So make sure that you balance both of them to derive the benefit of the same. All right. The first week of uh, Jan 2024, number nine, you have pulled out the Queen of Cups, the Six of Wands, the Star Card, the Six of Cups, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Queen of Cups. So you have two Queen of Cups cards. We'll take these first. Sit up and take notice because the universe is sending you a direct message. Don't go by the gender. You could be a male also. So you could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or dealing with one. This card means that you're holding on to something too light, uh, light uh, too tightly. This could be an objective, an aim, a person, a place, a thought, something that you want really, really badly, and you're failing to focus on the process because of your forced desperation. The process is slowing down, and everyone is looking at you as a helpless and desperate person. That's not who you are, number nine, but that's how it's coming across. So don't let this action of yours um you know un unexpected action of yours or uncalled for action of yours to define you so use all this energy to focus on the process enjoy it work hard and you will definitely gain the the results that you look out for six of wands there is a victory that's in store for you enjoy it it's a high vibe card uh, don't shy away from it be humble but be happy and exhale a sigh of relief the star card tells me that you could be an Aquarian or dealing with one, this card also means that in a situation where you feel all hope is lost, guess what? 
the universe is here to say that all hope is not lost there is still an element of hope so hang in there this card also means that you might have accumulated a certain amount of karmic baggage so don't forget to have your karmic baggage released and we do dragon spells but wherever you are doing your karmic baggage release from make sure that the person that the job is being done uh, nicely correctly and beautifully and also karmic baggage release anywhere is only annual it's not permanent it has to be done every year six of cups this card says that you will have uh, you'll be nostalgic you may be hit by bouts of memories of childhood when things were simpler easier less responsibility less headaches and tensions and less complications of course it is also possible that somebody from the past may come into your life now if you are having nostalgic moments uh, let it come and go but don't compare it to your future and don't waste your present time so remember that and if somebody is coming from your past into your life remember they are coming with a reason there are no coincidences either you learn a lesson or you will learn something about the person the wheel of fortune tells me that you've been blessed by the planet jupiter the planet brihaspati luck and finance are yours any kind of investment jobs business buying selling etc is top notch in the first week of january for you number 9 the second week of jan number 9 you have pulled out the two of cups the lovers card the hermit card the nine of coins or the nine of wheels the four of wands and the lovers card again so right up front you could be a gemini or dealing with one the universe is asking you to sit up and take notice because this card also means that you are not as positive and as loving of yourself as, as you should be i am not talking about grooming i'm talking about self confidence trusting your gut doing right by yourself it's bad karma if you are pushing yourself anything that you're doing that is hurting or harming your growth is negative karma that's how most people accumulate karmic baggage if it's not ancestral right so please keep that in mind karma doesn't mean doing good to others only it's a whole lot of other stuff so you need to take care of yourself speak kindly to yourself be nice to yourself don't run away from situations face them it will help you grow okay Two of Cups tells me that either you'll be getting married or you'll be getting into a business relationship with somebody. Either which ways, this does have a wonderful connotation because it helps you grow in a particular aspect of your life, and it will be something that will be good for you. So don't shy away from it. Okay. The Hermit card tells me that you could be a Virgo or dealing with one. This card also is a card of self introspection. So you need to look in, look within yourself, and you need to uh, understand why things are the way they are. How do you better? your reaction or action actions so on and so forth so spend a little bit of time in the second week on working on yourself and planning the next move four of wands tells me that there could be a celebration that you could be party to it could be an announcement of sorts like a birth or engagement marriage definitely something that's a very high vibe so don't forget to uh, be a part of it it will increase your vibes and invite good uh, positivity into your life which you need at, as of this time nine of uh, pentacles nine of coins nine of wheels so you are coming across as a luxury a person who is fond of luxury opulence grandeur and and all that jazz it's all right if you want to accumulate all that but please uh, cut your coat only according to your cloth don't bite off more than you can chew is what i'm saying and you are going to be giving out that aura because of which people will be flocking around you don't get exhausted by the end of the day and save some of this blue magical magnetic energy for yourself as well the third week of uh, jan 2024 number 9 you've pulled out the 6 of wands the 5 of cups the tower card the 8 of coins or the 8 of pentacles the emperor card and the 8 of cups so 6 of wands uh, we have already done it yes we have so you can play the tape and you can uh, you'll get to know the interpretation of this card so i won't waste your time on this let's do the 8 of cups so you will be planning a trip by the water it's also possible that something that was of interest to you earlier no longer holds your interest something or someone and you're walking away from it it's all right it's part of the growth process don't beat yourself up on it the emperor card tells me that you could be an aries or dealing with one you are taking decisions in your life keeping an adult male could be a mentor could be a male member of the family uh, you know directly or indirectly um, keeping that person in mind who's action oriented and you could also be securing the future of the next generation 
of your family members. Eight of coins, eight of pentacles tells me that uh, you are honing your skill set more and more and the right kind of people are finally sitting up and taking notice. Enjoy this. If this is, a, this is the time when your fruit is ripe, go ahead and apply, go ahead and meet people, increase your PR and your networking because uh, if you're looking for business or job prospects, you're top gun when it comes to the month of Jan, third week. The tower card tells me that you were expecting something to finish, but it's ended earlier than what you had expected and that kind of shakes the ground beneath your feet. Let the feeling, no, ride right through the feeling is my first advice. Secondly, tell yourself that the universe has decided this action in your life so that you come out of it bigger, better and brighter. Remember, a diamond shines only after it has been uh, taken through fire. So the, that polish is what you require and this is that polish. Keep your vibes high at this point of time and gain confidence and I promise you this will turn to be turn out to be one of the best things that happened in the long run. Five of Cups is a card that says that you need to change your perception. You're looking at the glass half empty. Don't look at the things you don't have. Instead, express gratitude for the things that you have and work towards the things that you don't have. Again, this change of perception will be a massive gift you can give to yourself in terms of increasing your vibrational frequency. And the last week of Jan 2024, number nine, you have pulled out the Empress card, the Seven of Cups, the Ten of Coins or the Ten of Wheels or the Ten of Pentacles, the Three of Coins or the Three of Pentacles, the Strength card and the Moon card, right? So um, the Empress card tells me, don't go by the gender, you could be a male also. It's quite a lot like the Emperor card, we've already done it, but it has other connotations as well. For example, you are giving out a lot of abundant creative energy, so money is going to be good. You will be nurturing your loved one. This is the time to conceive if that's uh, what's uh, what your plan is. And uh, this will be, th this time is ripe for reaping what you have sown. So it, it's all the hard work that will finally pay off. Seven of Cups, an interesting card, which means something is coming your way. You need to now remember you need to that you that expressing gratitude is key for all the things that you already have. Remember, all the cups are full, and that one thing that is coming towards you will be a direct mirror manifestation of how you feel about it. Therefore, tell yourself only this: this thing that is coming towards me is one of the best things that's 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 happened to me, and this is something that is going to work in my favor absolutely gorgeously and i promise you that's going to happen remove all elements of doubt suspicion fear anxiety etc okay gift this to yourself ten of coins ten of wheels we use this card a lot in spell casting it says you are giving out a lot of men money energy and uh, this is the energy that you should be mirroring in real life if you don't get in touch with us and let's see how we can switch your vibe or match it because you are the envy of a lot of people because you're, you seem to be doing very well in terms of finance. Three of coins, three of pentacles tells me there's some money talk happening with you, bang in the center, investment, buying, selling, job, business, so on and so forth. Uh, and this was something that will, again, work in your favor. So enjoy this and be thankful that this is happening in your life at this point. The strength card is here to say that you could be a Leo or dealing with one. This card also means that you need to be tolerant about uh, for, uh, of other people as well as yourself. Please don't be opinionated or judgmental about others. Remember, you don't want to be uh, painted with the same brush because nobody likes it. You're not wearing their shoes, so you should not uh, think about others like, you know, this person's like that and that because when the person points a finger back at you, you may not like it. Okay, so be tolerant, right? And the last card, the moon card says you could be a Piscean or dealing with one. This card also means that something in a situation is hidden, not clear as yet. Make sure that it is revealed. If you remember, this was also the seven, the central theme of revelation. Once it is revealed, you will be able to take your decision with a calculated risk and informed decision making tendency that you are used to. All right. Interesting spread indeed. I wish you all a very happy new year once again. You seem to have your work cut out for you. I will see you in the month of February 2024. Until then, love, light and knowledge to you all. Beatrice Essay and Om Sarve Bhavantu Sukhinath.